Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here to welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode video and today we are back with the FIFA 19 My Player Wolves career mode series where we are following the career and journey of Italian central attacking midfielder BCHD at Wolves in the Premier League. We're back with episode number three. You guys have been showing your love and support for it. So if you do, go on to enjoy the episode and the series. Smack the like button. Subscribe for more FIFA 19 content. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Check out some of my other series on the channel. But today, we're starting off the episode with a game against Watford in the Premier League. A game at home at the Molyneux Stadium. We're coming into this one sitting in the bottom half of the table. So let's see if we can change Wolves' fortunes around in this game against Watford. Uh, I get a few aggression stats there. Just showing you guys some of the unlockables. Um, BCHD does unlock during the game, but we get a little counter attack here. BCHD puts a lovely ball through to Adama Traore, and unfortunately, his shot gets deflected out for a corner, and uh, we can't get on the attack there. Late in the, in the first half, Wolves starting to build things up from the back here. We are starting a little counter attack. A lovely ball gets put through into BCHD. He's running down this right hand side. What can he do? He cuts. Back inside with the cross, and it's Uth in the middle. The German striker from Hoffenheim. Wolves signed him in this career mode series in the summer. This little celebration glitch goes on for some reason. But this lovely run down the right-hand side. BCHD cuts it in with the cross. He spots Marco Uth. Marco Uth? I don't even know if that's his first name. Just Uth in the middle. The former Hoffenheim striker. And he strikes a venomous left-footed volley into the goal. Gomes can't do anything about that one. And Wolves get the 1 0 lead here late in the first half. And we are looking to go into halftime 1 0 up as we get a few more chances here as um, we get a few more shots on. But unfortunately, couldn't make it 2 0 before half time. But it's an assist for BCHD at half time. And unfortunately, uh, Don Cure, I believe it is, cause a bicycle kick off a corner. And I mean, this is before the patch that uh, nerfed bicycle kicks. But. Unfortunately, Watford get a bicycle kick goal off a corner, goes through about three players, and they level it here at the Molyneux Stadium, 1-1. What a, what a hit that was. Um, and it goes at Rui Patricio's near post, and the bicycle kick comes to haunt us, Don Cure, with a lovely athletic finish. And unfortunately, that's how it would end at the Molyneux Stadium after a BCHD assist for, Mar uh, for Uth. Uh, Don Cure levels things up and that's how the game will end. No one gets, uh, the points get shared here at the Molyneux Stadium. A game which we should be winning at home, but I believe Wolves lost this in real life. Um, we get some more training done there after that game against Watford. And we're looking forward to the next game after a few more training sessions. You can see our match has played for one goal and four assists in four games. So pretty decent stats as we go into this next game against Brighton at the Amex Stadium in our first away game of the episode. We're headed down south to Brighton. As you can see there, neither of us are in the top two. We are just outside the relegation zone. Um, so we're looking to pick up some points here after that disapp disappointing home game as Dama Traore and BCHD down this side. BCHD puts a lovely through ball in. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen for us there as we continue on throughout the game. BCHD with a lovely pass down the side, trying to dictate this midfield, trying to get uh, some play going on as we get a few one-twos. Lovely tiki-taka football at the moment from Wolves. Dama Traore puts a lovely ball down the right-hand side. BCHD's got it on this right-hand inside he's gonna cross it in with the left foot and it's Raul Jimenez trying to do what Don Cure did last episode gets a little overhead bicycle kick off in the last few minutes of the first half and it's a lovely left footed weak foot cross falls right into the path of Raul Jimenez the, our Mexican striker and he gets a lovely athletic finish with that bicycle kick. We get our second assist in two games, both from crosses, and it's proving that our that our target forward strikers are completing them. As you can see there, Marco uh, Uth was on the bench, 
and it was that man Raul Jimenez in the starting 11 uh, getting the goal there to put us 1-0 up away at the Amex but BZHD is through here puts a lovely through ball into Uth he comes off off the bench as Uth gets another strike as the CPU do a lovely ticky tacker move Uth with a lovely finish there with the left foot gets his second goal in two games but we were a major part of that move moving the ball forward nicely with the CPU and they did the rest Adama Traore and Uth linking up beautifully there and Uth you can see a better angle of it here left foot curler into that top right corner absolutely unstoppable and it looks like we're getting the three points here away from home at Brighton it's two solid performances for BCHD in a row two assists in two games we get a 7.7 .7 match rating there you can see all of our stats one uh, one assist one key pass no goals in these first two matches unfortunately but hopefully we can get a few more good performances under our belt before the episode finishes 7.7 .7 match rating is very decent so we're looking to continue that as we do some training after that uh, game away at Brighton uh, no growth there in that training session but hopefully we can keep up the growth and keep up these assists per game I mean we've gotten what five games now and five assists so an assist per game is a very very decent ratio as you can see there our upcoming targets Against Spurs and Arsenal, we've, we're on track with all of them. We've completed two. We just need the average match rating to stay consistent. And we should be able to complete our upcoming targets for the boss. But we're in this Carabao Cup match against Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park. It's going to be a big match as our last Carabao Cup game. We beat Burton away. And that was probably BCHG's best game. Getting a goal and three assists, I believe. It was absolutely mental. For BCHG. So the Caribou Cup, can we continue our good Caribou Cup form as the team gets a lovely attacking move here? Dama Traore is through, puts the ball through to BCHD, and the finesse shot can't come off as Wayne Hennessy gets his hand to that poor shot from BCHD here as Crystal Palace hit the post and get the rebound. Unfortunately, taking the lead at home in the 32nd minute. And we go 1-0 down here away from home in the Carabao Cup. It's Jordan Ayew with the goal. And unfortunately, um, a deflection goal off the post. We couldn't do much about it as uh, we get absolutely tripped there from Mihailovic. I'm pretty sure is his name. The central midfielder for Crystal Palace. Absolutely tripped us up there. And we draw the foul, but, you know, could could have got an injury from that as BCHG on this right-hand side. What's he going to do? Crosses the ball in. And unfortunately, our target forwards just couldn't get to that one. And we can't get an equaliser before halftime, but we go into the second half. BCHD on this left-hand side gives the ball off into Diego Jota. But Sacco brought us down whilst we were giving off that pass. And he gets another yellow card, so... I've drawn two, we've drawn 2,000 in this game and uh, we've got two yellow cards for the opposition. So they clearly know I'm a danger man in the midfield. They want to mark me up, but the free kick leads to no avail. Unfortunately, I didn't get to take the free kick whatsoever. And unfortunately, we don't get a goal there, but a lovely attacking move here from us as I call for the ball. Uh, I'm not getting out, call for it again. I have a little finesse shot. And BCHD gets the equaliser here at Selhurst Park. It's my second goal in my career and the second goal in the Carabao Cup. And what a finish it was. The right-footed finish shot outside the box, off the post, into the back of the net. And Hennessy couldn't do much about it. We get the equaliser here at Selhurst Park in the Caribou Cup where BCHD does his best performances. It's two goals in the Caribou Cup, second goal in the career. We are off to a flyer. We've gotten the equaliser. Can we go on and win the game for Wolves and progress into the next round as I get a lovely through ball in here. I'm one-on-one -on -one with the defender. I knock down Sacco. I put the ball through to Matinho. And we've only gone and gotten the second goal. And we've gotten the assist here for Jao Moutinho, the Portuguese star, arriving in the summer for Wolves. 
and we've done it here away at Selhurst Park. I absolutely bundled over Sacco like I had 99 strength, put a lovely through ball into Giamatini. I thought he was offside to be honest, um, but Giamatini slots it comfortably into the bottom right hand corner and it's an assist and a goal for BCHD in this Caribou Cup match. And it looks like we are off to the next round of the Caribou Cup. But can we get one last attack to seal the deal here? I call for the ball. Can BCHD get his second? Unfortunately, just goes past the post. But it wouldn't matter in the end as BCHD gets an 8.3 rating. Now a 76 rated cam. He's got one goal and one assist in this match and in the Caribou Cup. Just absolutely playing so well. I don't know what it is about the Caribou Cup, but... BCHG is just getting a solid performances in the Caribou Cup. We were involved in both goals for our team as Man City go through, Scunthorpe go through, um, a few teams there. You can have a look at the Caribou Cup and we'll see who we're versing in the next round. But it looks like we can make a decent run in the Caribou Cup, which is always good to have a nice cup run. But we are up against Spurs here at home for our second home match of the episode. BCHG has got his first big team to face in this career mode series as Harry Kane is the one to watch for Spurs. Um, yeah, another big challenge for BCHD. We've gone from Crystal Palace to another London-based team. Spurs at home. What can we do here against the North London side? Adama Traore in the box. Gives the ball off to BCHD. Can he get another finesse shot off? Two back-to-back -back finesse shots. Can he get them off? He doesn't, unfortunately. And uh, I think it was Gazaniga in goal gets the save. BCHD on this right-hand side cuts in, beats the defenders. And yeah, that is the left foot, weak foot for you. <laughs> I tried the left foot finesse shot and it just didn't come off. I'm, I, I don't know what star, star weak foot I have, but it's not five or four. I can guarantee you that. But we are through here again. We're all over Spurs at the moment, unfortunately. My through ball couldn't get through to Raul Jimenez. And uh, we get a throw in here. BCHD on this left-hand side. Can he cross the ball in? He's going to cut back. Lovely. Crosses the ball in. It's Adama Traore with the header. The smallest man on the pitch. And the cross goes into him. Unfortunately, the header just goes wide. And we can't get the lead against Spurs. But we're into the second half here. It's still nil-nil. It's Diogo Jota on this left-hand side. Can he cut in and make a chance? BCHD lays it off to Adama Traore again. And where are our target forwards? They're nowhere to be seen. And two successive chances created for Adama Traore. Unfortunately, couldn't convert. But BCHD down this left-hand side. Gives the ball off to Diego Jota, the Portuguese man, on this left-hand side. I uh, retrieve the ball back in the middle. Do a lovely little cut. Um, tries the shot and deflected from the Spurs defender. So we can't find the breakthrough here against Spurs. But we're all over them. Not all over them, but like we're, we're creating a few chances here and there. We're getting a few Decent areas and what a finish it was from Adama Traore. Another CPU created goal. Unfortunately, I wasn't part of that, but the CPU with a lovely ball. That's the first decent ball I've seen our CPU do in this whole entire career mode series. Through to Adama Traore and he finished it with ease. You'll see on the replay here a lovely little ball, through ball. It was a lovely ball across the field. And unfortunately, it didn't land in my feet. It landed in the Dharma Triores. What a ball that was. The Dharma Triore finishes that one off. Our speedy right winger, the Spaniard, gets another goal in the Premier League. And unfortunately, literally right after we scored, Harry Kane gets a goal off kickoff. And they told us to watch him uh, before the match started. And we all know why now because he gets the equaliser right off kickoff. And what a goal it was. Roy Patricio couldn't do much about that one. And we end up tying 1-1 with Spurs here. They get the equaliser. Raul Jimenez nearly got the goal of the year. Another bicycle kick attempt from him. Unfortunately, this one didn't come off for him. But that would have been goal of the season to win it against Spurs with the bicycle kick. That would have been insane. But the game ends here. The equaliser Spurs get. And we do end up drawing another, another game at home. 1-1. No assists, no goals for me this episode. At a 7.2 match rating for BCHD, does uh, with the match average rating system, does 
do pretty well with it as I think our average match rating we need to get is like 6.5 or something so as long as it's above average it's all good some more training going on there for BCHD as we progress further to the next game a decent episode as we are sitting in 16th uh, there in the Premier League 13 points we're literally one point away from Chelsea, which are sitting in the relegation zone. Cardiff and Newcastle are in 20th and 19th position respectively, but it's Burnley and Brighton just beneath us, and it's a good thing that we beat Brighton in today's episode 2-0 uh, away from home, and uh, Burnley, of course, are on the same points as us. We move forward up the table, and it's Arsenal, Crystal Palace, Huddersfield, Leicester, and it's Watford, second in the Premier League, Everton in fourth, Man United at the top, Manchester City in third position as well, Leicester City, Huddersfield and Crystal Palace just looming outside that top four. And uh, it looks like we've got a bit of a relegation to mid-table battle on our hands. But as you can see there, our matches played seven um, and we've gotten two goals and six assists, I believe. So... Uh, we're going to show the squad report here. I've already grown four overall this season. I've played nine games, including the preseason. Two goals, six assists, which is quite decent. It's pretty much a goal involvement every game uh, for BCHG. And the first few games I played in preseason were, were my first few games of FIFA 19. We're worth 15 million uh, pounds now. The 21 year old, 76 rated. He's grown four overall, and you can see there all his stats in the old school squad report. It still hasn't been updated for the My Player Career Mode. Um, and unfortunately, it's the old school squad report, which brings back a few old memories. I mean, it used to be like this with the page and the book like kind of squad report and as you can see there our short passing sprint speed stamina is all in the dark greens vision acceleration and balance all in the high 80s low 70s uh high 70s low 80s but that is an old school squad report just to see how the growth of vchd is going but if you guys did enjoy this episode and you want more of this series smack a like on the video subscribe for some more fifa 19 career mode videos follow me on twitter the link is in the description and i'll catch you all on the very next episode